I want to do a YouTube play button and watch out the wheels and everything. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Just Like Smith channel. In today's video, we're going to be showing you and we're going to be talking about the future build plans for the 6L Power Stroke right here behind me. The long awaited rebuild has finally begun and is in a way 50% because you'd think, you know, tear the truck apart, you're 50% there, just have to put it back together. But we've got a lot of thinking to do. We've got a lot of uh, ordering parts to do. We've got a lot of powder coating parts to do. So single shot powder coating is going to be hooking it up on that. But before we get into today's video, I just want to let you all know we finally got the merch in. I'm going to set the tripod up and uh, show you the merch so right here on the front. And this is all screen printed. I called up a uh, kind of a local place. They're here in Kentucky. So I was trying to support at least a Kentucky business. I couldn't really find many screen printing companies um, around me. So I called up Central Screen Printing in uh, Central Kentucky or Central City Kentucky or something like that. I told them that I just wanted the best quality because uh, I talked to the owner or like the production manager. Super, super nice guy. We had a couple issues with my order and that's why it's been taking so long. But he got that taken care of and I have a huge amount of respect for that. Uh, whenever somebody that runs a business, you know, calls you personally and talks to you personally about your order. I um, mean, you don't have to, you know, fool with any salesmen and stuff like that. But anyway, on the front, this is the best quality t-shirts that they sell. So if you all think that the price is a little bit high, I'm sorry, I'm not really making hardly any money, but I have to make some money to continue building the truck here on the YouTube channel. So I hope you all can respect that and I hope you all can support that. I know I've been asked a lot on merch, even though we're only at 10K subscribers, I've been asked a lot um, to sell merch. So we got the t-shirts in, we got the JHS logo right here on the front, uh, just like up there. So I went ahead and slapped that on the front. And then down here, we've got um, a little American flag logo. I don't know how well you can see that, but I'll probably throw up some pictures as well on the screen of them, actually, the official pictures and stuff of them. And then on the back, we've got the truck. So I'm going to go ahead and set the tripod up right quick and turn around and show you what that looks like. Um, so, yeah, it looks really, really good. We've got the truck rolling coal out of the grill tech hood stack. We've got everybody starts out as nobody down here at the bottom. And then, like I said, on the front, we've got the JHS shield. And then we've got this uh, American flag logo right here. So the shirt and the quality of it, guys, like it's a, uh, I think it's called Next Level or something. It's like the best quality shirts that they sell. So you're not gonna be getting no like super cheap um, shirts. I know some other people on YouTube are selling merch and it's like as advertised, it's supposed to be like this really good quality. And then a lot of people are getting it and it's not good quality. So you're not gonna get that with me, guys. So that's why the price may be a little bit high because if you're gonna buy, uh, a youtuber's merch i feel like you at least want the shirt to be good quality if i can sell it for twenty dollars or twenty five dollars versus you know selling a good quality shirt for 30 or 35 i mean it's going to be worth the extra 10 bucks to have a comfortable soft this shirt is 100 percent cotton so keep that in mind um i don't know much about sizing and much about clothes i really i don't even know where i get my clothes literally just from sponsors i wear like the same t-shirts and stuff um but I usually wear a large in every shirt, and this is a large on me, so a large fits like a large. I don't know. It may be a little bit tight, and it may shrink a little bit. So if you wear a large, may want to buy an extra large, maybe not. That'll be up to your judgment. Um, but I'm going to have these linked in the description box down below, so you'll be able to go pick these up right down in the description box down below. Um, but with that being said, guys, I just wanted to let you all know that I do have the merch in stock now we don't have many of them this will be kind of a limited supply drop i'm going to do one more order after this after these sell out and after that they're going to be uh, completely out of stock um, until we get the truck rebuilt or i may come out with just like a couple random t-shirts stuff like that and put on the website uh stickers stuff like that uh, i may do some stuff like that i'm not sure but these this shirt with the truck in this phase with the striker kit and all the red underneath will be kind of limited time because we're about to change all the colors, rebuild the whole truck, uh, wrap the truck, change the color of the truck, like everything. So get this shirt while you still can. And with that being said, guys, thank you all for tuning into the Justin Smith channel. Don't forget, get in there and click that subscribe button, drop me a thumbs up, and let's get into today's video. All right, so that's leading into today's video, which I've, we've pretty much made the truck a hovercraft here on the YouTube channel. 
So right here is all the suspension right here. It's about to get loaded onto the trailer. I don't know if that'll be in this video or not. I may include some of that. But all of this stuff is going to get loaded onto a, a trailer. And we've got to go to Nashville, Tennessee. I may do a little bit of vlog or may include some time lapses stuff from that. I'm not real sure. But we have to go meet the buyer who is driving all the way from New Mexico all the way to Nashville, Tennessee, where we are meeting him. It's a three-hour drive for me one way. So save him, you know, six hours of driving, maybe a little bit more. Uh, with stops and everything so i just wanted to help him out um but since he's driving so far already um and for everybody asking what i sold the lift kit for every bit of this was sold for 10 grand so for anybody that dropped a comment on the last video if y'all didn't see my response sold every bit of this for 10 grand so he'll be bringing me his factory drive shaft so i can have that chopped up and made into a one-piece drive shaft and the axles he's not going to change the color of the powder coat right away so the axles and everything he did want so i was like bring me your factory axles i don't care one bit to give you my already powder coated and rebuilt axles so sold all of this stuff for 10 grand in trade of his factory stuff um so 10 grand his factory stuff if that if that was a question i just wanted to go ahead and answer that for some of y'all that were asking so pretty much with that being said, guys, the axles, cradle, leaf springs, blocks, U-bolts, traction bars, four link arms, uh, buckets, uh, traction bar brackets, coilovers. That's literally almost all. Like, that's everything. Brake lines. We've got the brake lines all right here. All of the bolts and everything, I just put back into the same holes uh, and the same hum joints, all the hum steering and everything. Um, so we will be rebuilding all of this stuff here on the channel probably. Uh, tie rod bar steering stabilizer uh the high steer knuckle over here that was one really really nice thing about this kit that i got i actually got this knuckle from plan b fab and then i got this uh, pitman arm is what they call it the steering arm or whatever i got that from plan b fab as well so that's a reed high steer knuckle that i purchased from plan b and then i purchased this arm right here from plan b as well but i think those are actually getting kind of hard to get right now so that's a that's a pretty valuable piece right there let's see here right here's the pmf uh, high steer arm with the pmf buckets and then over here we have the hovercraft so as i had said in one of the previous videos i don't know how many of y'all are like returning visitors returning subscribers uh, i don't really pay too much to my analytics i don't really have the time to but if you all are returning for one i truly appreciate you all returning back to watch this build series and i hope that this is something that i can try to make a video at least once a week um whenever we start getting parts and stuff in there will be a lot more content so if it gets a little bit dry or a little bit slow just bear with me and stay subscribed because whenever we get some more parts in or whenever we go to powder coat i'm gonna try to talk brad and let me powder coat some of this stuff um because i know my epic fail sort of i mean it worked but we powder coated the hitch cover the grill tech hitch cover uh and i got shocked and that was pretty funny um but not the best at powder coating but brad is a beast at powder coating i'm sure he can coach me and let me powder coat a part or two and we'll get some footage of that so that'll be something that you all can stay tuned for uh and stay looking forward to uh in the future as we go along so yeah the truck is on these 12 ton jack stands back here i also got some questions on that so we're gonna go ahead and answer those um these are 12 ton jack stands that me and my buddy charles uh welded all of that stuff on to just like some angle iron and we actually done a YouTube video on how to build those. So if you want to build those, they did hold my truck up for eight months the first time around. And right here, they're about to do it again. The Horn Blasters kit, which was hooked up by one of our sponsors here on the channel, DBA Lighting. So DB Auto Light for the brightest rock lights on the market. Uh, they sell wheel lights and other LED accessories as well. So that will be coming off. That's the only thing that has to come off that I pretty much haven't got off yet um but yeah so we're down to the bare frame i do also plan on taking this bed off as i've said in one of my other videos um and then of course right here under here we have a lot of wiring and stuff to redo some surface rust that we're going to get knocked down uh like right here we've got like some cut marks in the frame from cutting off old bracketry and stuff and we've got some cut marks down here so yeah um, all of that stuff is going to get welded in and then I'm going to flap disc all of that down So we will have a video on smoothing this frame and I'm going to do most of the holes as well I don't want to do all of them, but I'm going to do most of them um, All of the ones that like are in areas that will be visible And then back here 
we're gonna do frame face plates on the frame. So I won't have to fool with filling in any of those holes on the frame because those will all get covered up. But pretty much uh, this section right here, all the way up, will all get filled in. And then those brackets right there will get cut off. I actually already cut off one of them. I just have to cut off that one. And we will also be indexing the transfer case. So that is a little hint on what size lift I'm doing. It is big enough to where you still have to index the transfer case. And that's gonna have the front drive shaft at a really, really nice angle. So we will be doing the PMF suspension transfer case index kit. So it will clock that transfer case down. I don't know if we will have to have a new front drive shaft built or not. I'll have to ask Trevor about that, the owner of PMF suspension. So yeah, now up here in the front, we no longer have our PMF buckets, but no need to fear guys. We are gonna be doing some more PMF buckets. And this time around, we're not gonna be doing the eight or $900 PMF HD buckets. We're actually gonna be doing their, I think they're $4.99 um, for their fabricated buckets that you can in term do like a bolt-in coil spring mount. So you can still run these buckets with coil springs and get that look. Or they have their bolt-in billet um, coilover conversion kit. And that's what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna be doing the PMF buckets that are fabricated those will obviously be powder coated and those bolt in there with the really nice gold grade eight hardware. That's one thing that I really love about PMF is they send you all gold grade eight hardware. Um, whereas some of this stuff on the striker, it was all like the silver hardware. Um, all of the heim steering and stuff, I sourced all the bolts and stuff for that and built all of that. Um, me and my buddy Charles built all of that and we sourced these gold grade eight bolts. So that's gonna be one thing that I'm really focused on doing whenever we rebuild the truck is I want all of the bolts to be gold grade eight. Um, and so then any of them that I don't put bolt covers on will be gold. Like some bolts to me look better if you just leave them the gold bolts rather than put the bolt covers on. But most of them will have the, uh, the chrome bolt covers on there. I still haven't quite decided what I wanna do if I wanna do bolt covers on everything or if I just wanna do grade eight gold on everything and leave it exposed. You all can comment that down below. I'm talking every single bolt underneath this truck that has to do with the suspension would be gold grade eight. Would it look better if I done like the flat chrome caps? I'll throw up a picture on the screen right now of what that would kind of look like. Or would it be better if I just had like all the nice gold hardware underneath? Uh, you know, the gold hardware doesn't like oxidize and look as uh, bad over time. So it would definitely last longer, I feel like, and obviously it's strong, but as far as the lift kit goes, I will go ahead and tell you guys that we are doing King coilovers. So we will have those blue anodizing um, King coilovers and King steering stabilizer shocks and King rear piggyback reservoir shocks. Um, of course, the King coilovers in the front will be the 2.5s. I think they are um, with the with the reservoirs uh, mounted very nicely up on those PMF buckets. As far as the lift kit height, I wanna kind of keep that on the low for right now. Um, because I still am undecided and I don't want to be one of those people that says, hey, we're doing a 15 inch lift and then it ends up being 16 or 14 or 12, 10, 16. Like I don't, I don't want to tell you guys yet because I really haven't made up my mind personally. Now I have made up my mind on wheel. So now I have made up my mind on a wheel size. We will be coming back with 26, 16s. Um, and then of course, Shifted Industries, we will be running four inch wheel spacers. So Shifted Industries is hooking it up with some four inch wheel spacers. That's one of the sponsors here on the YouTube channel. So if y'all need good quality wheel spacers, make sure you all hit up Shifted Industries, best wheel spacers on the market. Um, so we will be running the four inch hub centric wheel spacers from Shifted Industries uh, on a 26 by 16. So it'll be kind of like a 26 by 20. Uh, with just a really good offset. So it'll have the truck very, very wide. And we are running a smaller tire than a 40. I will say that much. And we are running a smaller lift than a 20. But the amount of detail that's gonna go into the underneath of this truck and the amount of patience and the amount of YouTube content that I'm going to be bringing out of all of this and how much you all are going to be able to learn and watch the process of what goes into rebuilding a truck like this. And whenever y'all see the finished product, um, like whenever I built the truck and it had all this red underneath, I didn't really have hardly any subscribers. So a lot of you all like don't even remember that or don't even know me from that. You just know me from having this truck or maybe you're a new subscriber in general. I really appreciate you stopping by if you are. 
Um, make sure you get down there and click that subscribe button because we have so much content coming. But I just wanted to go out here and tell you, yes, we are doing the PMF fabricated buckets. Yes, we are doing the King coilovers, uh, King rear shocks. Uh, we're going to have... We won't have twin tower blocks in the in the back anymore, sadly. Um, so I am going to miss the twin tower blocks. But some of you all will be very happy about that. And also, another sad, sad day. We're not going to have a Bluetooth front drive shaft anymore. That sucks. So we're not going to have the Bluetooth front drive shaft. So I don't know. I guess my, my Bluetooth button on my phone will just have cobwebs on it, I guess. that That's what I do understand why people, you know, kind of say the Bluetooth drive shaft jokes. Because that's not necessarily building the truck correctly. Um, and some of these trucks are so big and they still index the transfer case and put a Bluetooth drive or they put a front drive shaft in there and it's like this. And I'm just like, guys, like just leave it Bluetooth. Like if it's going to look like this, just leave it Bluetooth. You know what I mean? Like that's where I'm at on that. But this truck won't be at such a tall ride height that it's not going to be able to be indexed and be a good proper drive shaft angle. So no worries on the Bluetooth drive shaft jokes. Those will have to sadly come to an end. So you all will have to find something else to hate on. Um, but hopefully there won't be much to hate on at the end of this build, except for just maybe my color choice. Uh, but I think if you all just trust me on this, whenever I reveal the color, I think you all will be very, very excited with it. Or you may not like it until the end. And even in the end, you may still not like it. Everybody has their own opinion and there's nothing wrong with that. But either way, you all will get to see so much info and so much content out of this that it's going to be so worth it for you all just to stay tuned and watch me build this truck. We're going to be rebuilding the axles whenever we have them powder coated. So we'll have to strip all the gears out of those, strip all the bushings out of those, all the seals, uh, hub assemblies, ball joints, everything, and have those sandblasted and powder coated at single shot. We'll have all kinds of content on that. We're going to be rebuilding um, the Heim steering probably. May actually have a company do that um, on the Heim steering once we get the lengths and measurements and all of that. And then of course, a completely new ride height, a completely new stance. The truck's gonna be even wider and lower than it was before. So it's definitely gonna be really, really cool. And then another secret that I've kind of got up my sleeve is I'm wanting to have a stock set up with some really big tires. Um, so like some 40s or 42s or maybe 38s or something like that on like some stock 20s or something. Um, for whenever I'm not wanting to run like the show set up, the, you know, 2616s and four inch spacers, the truck's still going to be a big truck. So I can put some big old mud tires on it, um, for maybe like a winter setup or something. Cause I actually do daily drive this truck. No matter how it ends up, I'll be daily driving the truck. I'm going to be tearing that out and redoing the starlight headliner. And I'm going to do somewhere, probably like right here. I want to do a YouTube play button in red. So that's going to be on a completely separate kit, a completely separate box. And I'm going to run that red all the time. Uh, just like the YouTube play button logo is red. So there will be like a YouTube play button right there. I think that'll be really cool to add to the truck build. And then I'm going to install two of the 450 piece kits, which is what's in this right now. This is a 450 piece kit. I'm going to install two of those. So then I can run two colors at the same time so like if i want to put them all on white and then all on green i can run white and green the youtube button will always be red which it'll change colors too if i want it to but i'll probably always leave that on red or white but yeah i think it'll be really really cool and i'm also going to rewrap the headliner in black suede since the sub box is black i'm also going to finish it but i wanted to add some more black to the interior we're all from we're also going to do the next level mats on the amp steps so those will be pretty cool i want to do black weather techs instead of tan just kind of like i said adding some more black into the interior and then the black headliner a uh, full new starlight kit and then we're going to be sending these off to florida boy customs and getting those wrapped in the same black suede all right guys so i've got these dba rock lights on three in each fender wheel We've got 24 total and this lights up the ground really really good so watch this alexa turn shop off look at that lights up the wheels and everything and that shop light is on right there it actually looks brighter without that shop light on but like i could just straight up film a youtube video right in here what's going on guys no, i'm just kidding but yeah these dba rock lights they're stupid bright so 
All right, guys, so that's probably the reason why you clicked on this video anyway. So, hold on, let me get under here. Let me get under here and sign off. So, I hope you all enjoy the video, um, and I hope you all tune back in for the next video that I upload. Uh, and every video that I upload isn't always 6.0 content. Sometimes it's just truck-related content, like how-to videos. Like, sometimes I'll do leveling kits, lift kits, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope y'all are enjoying the little hovercraft mod that I have just officially completed. Um, and I hope y'all are ready for this rebuild because it's going to be really, really awesome. Don't forget, go pick you up a t-shirt in the description box down below. If it says sold out, you missed out, but I'm going to order more. So stay tuned. Uh, I didn't order a whole lot, but I think I ordered enough to where we should be able to get quite a few of you all some t-shirts. So Always remember, guys, everybody starts out as nobody, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.